welcome back to Lords of Football. Ulrich Bricks is already playing up, barely even started. Uh, let's grab him. Come here, Ulrich. Get picked up, son, and let's drop you over here. Uh, April 2016 on the board. We are, of course, now in May, so we're no longer in real time. That is a bit of a shame, uh, but never mind. Uh, punishment for food, Ulrich. There we go, son. Get in there, get yelled at by the drill sergeant. Uh, training. Training appears to be happening, so that's a good thing. Um, it's the European Cup semi-final round two versus Malag Malag Malaga Sharks. God, that's a bit hard to say. I was going to say Malaga for some reason. Uh, Malaga. Malaga? I guess. Uh, right. So, uh, Premiership, one match to go, I believe, and we have a two-point lead on the Gunners. So, still everything to play for there. Holy shit. Uh, but over in Europe, meanwhile in Europe, um, European Cup semi-finals. So, we've already defeated Malaga 2-0. So, the odds are in our favour, definitely, that we can progress to the final of the European Cup. Um, Kiev are playing Barcelona again. They drew one all last time, so it'll be quite interesting to see which of those go through. Um, I think, given their performance so far, I would rather face Kiev. They did thrash Trondheim 5-2. Um, who's the other one? Barcelona. Who didn't do so well second round. Uh, day 2, day 3. Where's Kiev in all this? I don't even see them. I don't even fucking see them in the opening stages. I'm sure they're there somewhere. They've got a big yellow K. How can I not see them? What the fuck? They've got to be there somewhere. Where the fuck? Oh, does this scroll down? Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, fine. Fuck it. I'm not going through all that bullshit. I guess I'd rather face Kiev, but I suppose we'll just we'll just go whatever way. We haven't got a choice in the matter, have we? We're going to have to play whoever wins out of that thing. And somebody has to win. They will go to penalties if not. Someone has to be the ultimate winner. It can't draw. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if they do go to penos or not. Um, in the meantime, our guys are cool to just pretty much chill for the day. Um, so I want to say a couple of things. Uh, first off, we've had a few rather nice comments on the channel recently. Uh, so I'd like to say thank you to some of the new faces turning up uh, and leaving little words of encouragement. It's always very nice to come in from work and find those uh, rather than the usual fucking spam that's been going around about this time of year. I think the network's about recruiting because I've had I think I've had four this month of uh, various requests which, you know, generally just get deleted. Um, what else? Drive Any Trek, which is a, a little indie game I've been quite fond of um, since it came into Early Access. has now left Early Access. It's on full release. Uh, it's been renamed Riff Racer. Um, it's a game I would have loved to have covered on the channel and give it a bit of, well, a very small amount of coverage, I guess. I don't have many viewers, but uh, it would have been nice to do that. But obviously, with it being a music-based rhythm game thing, there's various copyright issues. You've either got to pick copyright free music and play tracks that aren't necessarily suited to show off the game that well if that makes sense uh the problem with a lot of free music is it's not very rocky and a lot of these music games the best way to show them off is with some fast rock or metal because then it you know you get a more exciting visual from it you know but it's it's a great game i fucking love that game i spent all last night playing it again um mainly just playing veruca salt tracks because fucking hell um and it's great it's great, so have a look at that. If you like things like Audio Surf um, and other rhythm games, I mean, it, it's more like Audio Surf than than stuff like Beat Hazard and stuff. But it's still, it's fucking a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, and then, yeah, tied into that, music wise, uh, if you do like rock music and Veruca Salt particularly, um, not their Vivo YouTube channel, but their own YouTube channel, the one that doesn't have many subscribers, um, they've just put up a music video for Eyes on You, which is one of the best songs off their new album. It's fucking amazing. I love that song. So that's pretty cool as well. Go check that out if you like uh, Chick Rock. Right. We're pretty much coming up for night time. So I want to get these guys sorted. Uh, let's make sure they get a night. In fact, let's 
Fuck them. Let's have... They can go early. They've been doing so well, we're not even going to wait for the whistle. They can just fucking go. Um, and we'll get everyone... In fact, let's check the first 11 first, because let's face it, that is priority right now. Um, a little bit of gambling there. Sex. Okay, let's get the sex on then, because Torre is absolutely gagging for it. Um, so let's see to his needs. Let's see if we can get our people in a really good state of mind uh, and really ready to kick the ass of the Malaga Sharks, if Sharks even have asses. Um, maybe they do, maybe they don't. Gandalf. Do fish have asses? You know, <laughs> it's the big questions are being asked here today. I assume they have bum holes <laughs> of some description. <laughs> it's got to come out somewhere, hasn't it, you know? Uh, who else do I need to look at here? Gambling for Francisco. Where are you going, Francisco? Get your butt in the casino. Uh, Julio, I am going to move to six. Sin as though it's there and it's available. Let's get him in on there. Oh, yeah, I watched a cool film the other day as well. Maybe I should recommend that. Uh, I watched It Follows, which is... It's a horror film. Um, it's not really like a slasher, gory horror film. It's more sort of creepy horror film. Uh, it's pretty good though. I quite enjoyed it. It was. It's one of those where there's not much in the way of explanation of like what's happening. It's just a sort of just a very creepy premise, um, and I like that. It was just very creepy. Uh, I think that'll do. I think that's it. We'll leave it there with those guys. Right, so they can enjoy... Oh, in fact, no. Let's check Torre, because I noticed he had a couple of other bars beyond uh, just the pub. Let's just quickly... Uh, he's still okay. Let's just keep an eye on him, and if that drops to one, we'll move him to food. I want him to be on good form uh, with him being our primary winger. Torre, where are you, son? There you are. Come here. Get to the restaurant while there's still time to have delicious foods. There you go. Excellent. Okay, fast forward. Fast forward. I'm also off work for a week. Um, I don't know when you guys when you, you guys are probably going to get this like near the end of the, that week anyway. But I'm off work for a week, so there might be some bonus content going up here and there um, as I get a little bit of free time. I've got a lot to do, but I've, I've got at least one extra video that's going to be getting done and I might try and sneak one or two more up just while I've got while I've got a bit of free time and I can spare it and do some extra editing and extra filming and all that shit. I think it's been a while since we've had some bonus content. Ugh. Right. Rick Bricks there staring intently at a plate. Food is the reason for life. Okay, Malaga. And we're at Malaga as well, so big deal and they are still pretty strong pretty fucking strong <sighs> could be could be tense i mean we've only got a sneak of victory past them really i mean a, a simple 1-0 would be enough i think we could even draw and win i'm not sure cuz we've got two home goals is that how it works if we'd scored one home goal that wouldn't count. We'd have to go penos. I don't know. I don't know. It's complicated. But anyway, we can do it. I've, I have faith in in Dirtsville. Our mood is pretty good. Helvis is pretty happy. Um. However, we just seem to be very much down our end of the pitch right now. They have a guy called Gareth Partridge. It's not very uh, not very Spanish, is it? And Cambry, nice. Nice little tackle there. Did not foul him. That's always a good thing. Oh, and that cheeky interception as well. Very nice. Stole that off him admirably. Arthur. Oh, it could be good. Oh, it's good. It's very good. It's a good early goal for Dirtsville. Very nice. We're going to watch this back. And Cambry. And Cambry was the feeder for this. Holy shit. Beautifully just rolled past their little defender there and Arthur got it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. The mood, boom, skyrocketed across the whole game there. And Cambry rocking an 8.5. Early candidate for man of the match. Some beautiful defensive work. 
Let's hope she can keep it up. <clears throat> oh, don't... Oh, yes! <laughs> I thought she was going to foul the shit out of him in the box then. That was going to be bad. No, that was good. That was good defensives. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Can somebody lock him down? Christian's going for it. Force him off the side. Yes! <laughs> You're a dumbass. It's always good when you can just pressure them into walking off the side of the pitch with it. <laughs> Got Julio and Torre over here. Julio doing a bit of leg work. It was nice. Christian's got some space. Torre hasn't, unfortunately. Can he take it? Nope. Nope. A bit of a foul. A bit of a foul. Nothing to worry too much about, though. Just, I do worry that if if anyone d does a really bad foul, we could get red carded. Oh shit! Oh, what a save! Super goalie Neil Jenkins. I'm worried about how much they're pushing us, though. They are pushing very hard. Oh, Torre, why, son? That's two fouls. You're starting to look like an early candidate for substitution there, Torre. And after we gave you sex and food. How dare you. Oh, fuck, that went in. That's bad. Okay, that's bad. And that's, that's on you. That's on Torre. That is his fault entirely. One more foul and he's coming off. He's working a four rating right now. Oh, fuck. That does not look good. Hell of this, though. Intercepting. Can she do something? And Cambry. Oh, what the fuck, and Cambry? What was that meant to be? Shit. This went from good to bad quite rapidly, didn't it? Oh, Torre's just not cutting the mustard, is he? We need to sub him. We need to fucking sub Torre. Oh, fuck off. He came down that wing again. Just get Torre off. Fucking Torre. He's doing shit. We cannot afford to lose this match. I'm not having it. Get fucking Peterson on. Oh no, left wing. Left wing. Jesus, that was close. Fourth wind. Fourth wind, you're up, son. Fucking hell. <sighs> wow, that foul. Shit, we have really got to fucking push this now. Oh my god, look at all our ratings. It really dropped after that second goal went in. Torres is costing us too much, which is why I'm getting rid of him. Can Christian make up for it and feed this into someone useful? Fourth wind. Luke. Yes! Oh, fourth wind earning his keep the moment he steps on the pitch. Let's watch this back. We've got Christian here up to fourth wind who crosses it in beautifully. Boom. Goalie tries, fails. Let's watch that again. The goalie actually gets to it and pushes it into the post and it still goes in. Luke, goalie, bang. Not enough. Oh, thank God. Fuck me. Two all already. What an intense match. Bringing fourth wind on was definitely a good move. How's our midfield doing? Julio's not doing fantastic. Gandalf with a foul. Not good. Not good. Too many fouls. Do not want them to score off the back of this. This would be really, really fucking bad. Oh, what a clearance. Ulrich with the huge clearance. Holy shit. Okay. Intense. Second round. Fourth wind. Oh, fucking Anne Cambry. Again with terrible fucking passing awareness. It's like our front guy seems to be playing well, but the the mid and back are just terrible. God, 
The mood's not too bad. The mood isn't too bad. We just need to get in there. Get the fucking ball off them. God damn. They're keeping possession for so long. We just can't get it. It's a pig in the fucking middle over here. Maybe we should bring Julio off. He's just not achieving anything over there, is he? And came with a foul. Do I want to sub Julio? I think I want to sub Julio. Uh, Julio for Perea. Let's go with that. Oh, they just fucking scored again as well. Fuck. It was off that goddamn foul. Look at that. Holy shit. Jeez, they're pushing so much. Considering we thrashed them 2 0 the first time round, they're really giving it everything they've got here. They do not want to lose. This is so worrying. We have to get a fucking goal in. Oh, come on. That is goddamn bullshit. Get to that, please. Oh my god. Do not let him set this up. Gandalf. Someone. Paul Grant. Get the fuck out of there. Yes, Perea. Now we've got some space. Oh my god. We've got to score. We have to score. Terrible. Terrible. We keep giving it away. Every time we get up there, we're just passing it to them. Oh, for fuck's sake. This guy. There we go. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Luke. Paul Grant. Don't fuck this up, Paul Grant. Christian. Yes. Come on, son. And cross it in. That's too high. Fuck. 15 minutes to score. Oh, God. They keep getting it down this end so quickly. Another foul. Oh, God. And they're bringing on their De Silva now. Fucking hell. Oh, my God. I'm so worried. If another one goes in... If another one goes in, that makes it penalties, I think, doesn't it? I do not want to go to penalties. Do not foul him. Gandalf! You fucking idiot! You fucking idiot! Give me the subs. Give me the fucking subs. We need to get him off the pitch before he fucks it up even worse. Oh, my God. My fucking God. Give me the fucking sub, man, you. Please. Please. Oh. Let's get Donald Darges in. Oh god, fucking hell. So many fouls. The fouls have cost us this. I'm so worried about this. Jenkins, clear it, clear it, no! Oh god. Fucking hell. Half as knackered, but I can't do shit about that. Ten minutes to go. I mean, at the very least, we've just not got to let another goal in. How did they get so good? How did they get so fucking good so quickly? Shit! That is some bullshit. That is some major fucking bullshit. Can you believe what we're seeing here? Our only hope now is if we can score. Which we're not going to fucking do, are we? Let's face it. Seven goddamn minutes. We would need a fucking miracle right now. And I do not know the stats of the players. For the penalties. Come on, Donald Darges. Christian. Please, let's do something. Arthur! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, that power shot! Oh! Look at this! 
He heads it over. Luke K fucking feeds it back to him. Boom! He just fucking hoofs it in. Oh. We've just got to hold off for the injury time. That's it. Just don't let them score. Please don't let them score again. Four fucking minutes of injury time. Oh my god. The fucking tension. It's palpable. Oh god. I, I, I can't even. I just. I can't even. I'm, I'm trying not to even look right now. Thank God we brought Donald Darges on though. He initiated that whole thing. Oh yes! We did it! We fucking did it! Oh my god. I think I think we win. I think that means we're through to the finals. The performance was awful. Oh my god. We got an achieve for that. We somehow got an achieve. I don't know what that was for. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm fucking exhausted. What the hell? Oh, right. Okay, let's have a quick look. Yes, we are through to the final. Excellent. Oh my god. Let's go see who we're facing in the final. Barcelona. Barcelona made it through. Oh my god. So that's it. The European Cup final will be Dirtsville United versus Barcelona Marvels. Oh my god, that is going to be intense. Oh man, okay. So next week is the final match of the Premiership. The big one to see if we actually win the Premiership or not. All we have to do is beat Arsenal. Uh, well, not even beat them. We have to basically win or draw. That's all. If we can win or draw against Swansea, we win. That's it. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. <laughs> all right. We, we need to win, really. We need to win. Fuck it. We can beat them. We can beat Swansea. Right. I'm going to save it here, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.